The Forest, a survival horror game where you, Eric LeBlanc, have found your plane crashed and son missing, and it is up to you to find him. Survive against the elements, control your food, thirst, stamina, and health while exploring the peninsula and defending yourself against its inhabitants. Today's challenge was originally to survive 100 days on this forsaken stretch of land, but at around the day 30 mark, I found the game seriously lacking in endgame content besides the worm and building massive bases. This, combined with ending up needing to comb through and edit almost one terabyte of footage, made me decide at day 47 to change the challenge and end up finishing at day 50. So for those who were excited for another 100 days video you might be disappointed, I apologise, but I did want this video to come out before the Sons of the Forest, which I'll be live streaming at twitch.tv slash stealthymage on day of release by the way. But for now, that's enough preamble out of me. I hope you enjoy watching me tackle 50 days in the forest. Day one began with me enjoying a relaxing plane ride before the plane was ripped to shreds and my son kidnapped. Now, with this game, I do tend to speedrun getting the following items. The modern axe, map, compass, chainsaw, and the climbing axe. And after getting oriented from my crash site, I began to do so. After making a spear, I ran to the cave where the modern axe was held. I killed the inhabitants and helped myself to the cache of supplies as well as the modern axe. I'm a red man now. After leaving the cave, I made my way to the main cannibal camp and helped myself to the supplies there before heading into the cave to retrieve the map and compass. That's the map. You see these dead passengers? Well, remember them for later. I also found the first flintlock pistol part, of which there are eight. I'd never actually made the pistol before, so I decided that I would make it for the first time and collect all eight parts. I spent the night of day one on a waterfall safe from the cannibals. Get away from me. Day two involved me finding a second gun part, as well as swimming to the yacht in the bay to retrieve the cassette player as well as tapes one on the yacht and five on the beach on a gravesite. Hello, anybody home? I can use this as a sled, I forget about that. Hold on, hold on. Let's go. Ah. Yeah, baby. After this, I booked it across the island to exploit how falling works in this game to retrieve the climbing axe. Alright, time to show my little... Okay. So. Ignoring all the random hearts that are here. This cave is a bit funny. Um, if I can find out which way, it was this way. Okay. So see this climbing wall here? Well, normally, you know, you look down and go, oh, I need, I definitely need a climbing axe to get down there. If you just like, do that. You take, you don't take as much damage from falling. And yes, there are a couple of people in here. A couple of dudes. And I'm now stupid. There he is, there's the dig caver. Give me that chocolate bar.
Where the other flare went? That's when these guys got harder. What health? Only just round. Nice. All right, now we go this way. Go this way. Go this way. Okay. So this bit here. Yeah. See how there's a couple of people down there. I think I can. Bro. I throw dynamite down there. Okay, so that's one dead. Okay, so what you do, do this, grab, and then grow up. And there you go. <laughs> you just skipped a bunch of the cave system. Let's get the climbing axe. Normally, when playing through the forest, one would get the chainsaw uh, and be forced to retrieve the climbing axe from the adjacent cave to exit to the surface, now you just fighting run away a lot of cannibals. Man. But with this, you need only fight three, or an extra two with some babies with dynamite if you want to be safer. After this, I went through the normal way, got the chainsaw, and left the cave. I am not 100% sure what I did at night, but I'm 90% sure I sat in the cave until it was daytime. Days three and five will be the first slight building montage of this video, and yes, I said first. All my notes say for these days are building montage, and always fighting people.
Hi, editing me here. I just realized that I am an idiot and I am 99% sure that the entirety of my playthrough does not have audio at all. This, this is because of a filter I was using on OBS, which I forgot to change from Dead by Daylight over to the forest like an absolute nutter. So, I, I'm not at all interested in re-recording, considering I've just finished stitching together the first five days, and it would take forever, because considering it's, well, right now it's 1am, and I kind of want to, uh, the Sons of the Forest release is in about a week, and I kind of want to get this video done over the weekend. So... For those who have probably noticed already, once again, I'm sorry, uh, but you'll just have to bear with me with no audio for this one video. Day six was also more building, but it finally rained. I decided to build a raft to help ferry logs across the lake to the base, but while building it, I almost died. Twice. Stupid crocs. During day seven, I finally decided to start exploring the caves. I got the katana, which I proceeded to never use, as well as another cassette tape. While exploring, I stumbled into a cave with a Virginia, or spider lady, and noped out, as I was nowhere near prepared to take on one of those. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, nah, fuck that. I apparently heard scary noises and spent the rest of the night in the caves, but not before I remembered, I could use the lizard skin I got from the crocs as armor. On day eight, I made bone armor and equipped it. After exploring more caves, I got the scuba gear. Oh yeah, scuba, di scuba diving time. And found some missionary camp that seemed to be worshiping an obelisk. The fuck? At this camp, I got the rusty axe, then went back to base and continued building. During day 9, I finished the raft. Finally, I built the fucking raft. Made a friend called Jeffrey, but unfortunately I had to kill him. Fuck. Do it again. I don't but. This is new, this is Eminem's new album, Music to be Murdered by. I put some log holders and a drying rack on the raft, as well as a fireplace. I managed to kill a croc from my raft, and then faced through the earth to skin him. The next day, day 10, the creepy mutants started spawning on the surface. I entered a cave, and killed a creepy guy who charged at me, used a Molotov, a bomb, and my axe. I found a recorder tape before killing a Virginia. I found a recorder and keycard in a pit of bodies and killed an armsy. I found another recorder tape on my way out. This night, I actually slept in the cave as I found a tent right beside the exit. On day 11, I came out of the cave and found some shipping containers. I found a shipping manifest and saw an island that would be safe for me to make a base on. I kept building and added more log holders to my raft. And I watched a tortoise get flung into the air by a falling tree. It was on day 12 that I realized I was wearing a dressing gown. This became by far my favorite outfit in the game. I found my log sled in the lake. Don't know how it got there, but once again, I faced through the world to get it and it almost sunk my raft. My next set of notes for this day are weird. I start with dumbass, followed by spider bitch spawned on logging side of the lake, hyphen shit. And finally, Almost sunk my boat, the cunt. What on earth was I typing? I then finished building the first building of the base and enjoyed a night by the fire. The next day, I explored another cave, found some more passages and a cassette tape, and found that this cave seemed to link to the Climbing Axe Cave. 
I went into yet another cave, found a restraining order and a wall with missionary crosses on it. Found some tennis passages and found a tennis racket and a pedometer, which I always read as pedometer. I continued exploring. I saw a hole in the wall which showed me a room with two armsies. Oh, fuck, no way. Why are there two? On day 14, I actually ended up doing quite a bit. I found a room and fought a blue Virginia, which I've literally written in my script as vagina. <laughs> and a normal one, as well as a bunch of babies. I found a cave with the modern bow in it, which should allow me to start hunting easily. I found the other side of the hole from yesterday and managed to kill both armsies. I found another weird door, like in front of the missionary camp with the rusty axe, which turned out to be two. I found the last part of Timmy's toy, aren't I, aren't I the best dad? And after this, I got down to the bottom of the sinkhole where I found a machete in the crashed heli. But I decided I wasn't prepared for the bottom of the sinkhole yet and retreated back into the caves. On day 15, I decided to move base to an area with more accessible trees and sticks and less cannibals. I was seeing too many mutant ones and it began to start worrying me. I crafted a bunch of things and got a ton of animal meat. On day 16, I decided to go boar hunting. That is, that is quite literally all I wrote in my notes. Day 16 was just boar hunting day. During day 17, I was still out hunting because I needed one more boar skin. I finally built my own bed, which meant no more sleeping contents for me. Which, you know, my notes lied because I was sleeping in tents quite a lot. I, s I saw that the creeps were making their way to my brand new base, which didn't make any sense because they shouldn't have known I was there. Wait no, fuck off big man. On day 18, I kept building, then decided to mount some animal heads. I got launched up into the air while bringing logs back to the base, which freaked me out because I thought I was going to straight up die from fall damage. I finished the exterior of the new house and started decorating the inside with some skull lanterns. During day 19, I found out I was sick in addition to being infected. I started building defensive walls before I finally found aloe vera. I found a blue spider lady, which I, I don't know why I didn't change that to Virginia, before I raided the modern axe stash again. On day 20, I made a shelter near the main cannibal camp and found another gun part. In the wild, I found both a Virginia and an Armsy just randomly patrolling. I decided to back away, because I was not going to fight them. I found another camp in the middle of the woods and found a fourth gun part. I wanted a flare gun, which can only be found in the cockpit of the plane, so I made my way to the cold north of the map and spent all night building a staircase up a ledge. That staircase ended up being pointless, as you'll see in a moment, because during day 21, I found the cockpit of the plane. It was here that I got the flare gun and a piece of a magazine. I spent the night at the lake base and got the naturopath achievement by crafting some medical items with plants. On day 22, I started building a smaller raft to traverse the seven seas. In my notes, I have simply written, pirate time. I found a cave underwater, and thinking that a note on the wall was a blueprint, I almost fell to my death. That's three times I've almost died now. In this cave, I found two new blueprints, and I ended up getting the final parts of the gun, which... After doing so, I instantly crafted for the first time ever. Afterwards, I managed to get the green thumb achievement after growing aloe vera back at base. 
During day 23, I decided to work on my missing achievements, which were Major Cannibalism, which I got later that day by eating two people who decided to try and raid my base, Crafty, which I got by crafting a set of rabbit boots, because it turns out that was the only thing I'd never crafted in the game before. I also needed Trophy Hunter, Spelunker, Stepmaster, Don't Save the Forest, Fisherman, Bad Father, which I would have gotten at the end of the 100 days, and Daily Grind. Of course, yeah, day 23 me didn't realise I wouldn't be doing the full 100 days. I also began start to take note of finding the missing plane passengers, of which I found two more today. On day 24, I raided the cave with the Virginia from day 7. I used the flare gun and flintlock pistol to kill it. I found the final cassette tape before doing some more spelunking. I built a fish trap, but had to build another since the first one was above water. And after doing so, I got the fisherman achievement practically instantly. During day 25, I made the warm suit and then realised I actually only had two more caves to explore for the Spelunker achievement. I killed the Armsy in the cave I found in day 7 and then finished exploring cave 1. I finished exploring cave 6 by simply walking in another entrance to it which then let me get the Spelunker achievement. During this day, I was also celebrating what making it through, well, at the time what I thought, was a quarter of the challenge done. On day 26, I had officially survived for one quarter at the time of writing the note of the challenge. Yay! I found the remaining missing passengers. Yeah, remember those passengers from the cannibal camp? Turns out when I went there, I actually didn't get close enough to find them. I got the shark and turtle trophies and just plopped them on a wall at the beach. I then got a crocodile trophy and put it in the lake base. During day 27, I went into the snow and decided I might build a base there. The boar hair trophy was done before I ended up just straight up squishing a deer with a tree. <laughs> Poor thing. I built a birdhouse for some feather income and then got launched again. I have no idea why, but this is starting to happen really frequently. On day 28, I continued building walls and then found out the heads I was missing for the trophy hunter achievement were the goose and seagull heads. I watched my log sled flip when a tree landed on it and then built a zipline across the river. During day 29, I decided to build a log catcher to ferry logs across the zipline and used Farkett's design. I had never built one of these before and it worked like a charm. After reloading my saves a couple times when it actually didn't work, on day 30, I used a log catcher to build a log storage area next to it. I then built a bunch of water collectors next to the log storage, causing a global extinction event of turtles and tortoise. So day 31 to 40 is mostly a blur, as it was mainly building. I built more of the walls and patched a hole in the wall on the other side of the base as a cannibal had gotten inside who I then had to kill. I ended up building the tower from one of the blueprints I found on day 22, which looks kind of cool. Days 41 to 46, I actually ended up streaming. You can see the full VOD on my Twitch, www.twitch.tv slash StealthyMage. Hey, I'll take any chance to plug my Twitch. Don't at me, please. So during days 41 to 44, I was building my frozen base up north in the snowy area. I tried to build a zipline from the frozen base to my main, but there were just simply too many trees in the way blocking the zipline. I just don't like that. Fuck it. And that's straight. That's straight enough. Actually, that's pretty dead on. Oh, that's dead on. Not bad if I do say so myself. And I just build up, I guess. What are you fucking? What are you doing? American Drill Sergeant? <laughs> Jesus! Fuck off. Go away. 
Please don't start breaking my shit. I'd really appreciate it. God, you guys breathe weird. They break it along. Oh no, two of them left. That's not good. Bring it up. Fuck off. Go, for I shoot you in the face with an arrow. I will set fire to your villages. I, I, I'm heading back there anyway to go, you know. I love how you just see the tower. I'm heading back there to do, you know, things. Oh my god, they came back. Just go. Fuck off. I mean, they are all inbred. <laughs> Law wise, that is accurate. You guys might have accidents, which I will not be responsible for. Okay. Now, these are these are very solid accidents, which uh shouldn't be taken shouldn't be taken lightly. Oh, uh, these, these bombs? These pipe bombs? Don't worry about them. It's fine. It's fine. Now, if you guys don't piss off, you're going to be answering to one of these. Do you want to be answering to one of these? I don't think you do. Buddy. What the fuck are you doing? Look, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, like, criticize the game for making me be, be able to make a bomb. Don't you dare. I'm about to commit acts of terrorism. I am about to commit a terrorist attack. If you don't fucking leave, there will be a terrorist attack. With your name on it. My brother in Christ, if you break that, I will come down there and personally whip your ass. Oh, I'm fucking... She ran away. Ooh, big loud noises. Scary. Actually, can I... Can't I craft a sticky bomb? No, with a leaf with a... One of these, thank you very much. I wonder. Oh my god, I can! <laughs> oh, yes, please. <laughs> hey buddy <laughs> bye bye on day 45 i was looking for a final head trophy for the achievement and got a seagull head instead of a goose head do you not like exist a goose. that was not oh i need i need the goose oh i need the fucking goose not the seagull Okay, I ran all this way for nothing, by the way. I ran all this fucking way for nothing. I ran all the way to the beach for nothing. I ran back to the lake base and ended up staying the night there. During day 46, I literally just stood at my lake base and waited for geese to come. I got distracted with some cannibals and missed the geese flying past the base. I jumped into the lake and guided some of the geese to the shore. I killed one and mounted its head for the Trophy Hunter achievement. You know what? You and I are going on a- oh. You know 
I could give less of a shit, but those boys are there. I've got two geese headed over to the shallow bits. Fuck geese. Yes! I'm at the head! Nice. Yeah, that's right. Fucking run in fear, goose. Ayo, achievement unlocked. Trophy hunter. Yeah, baby. I also unlocked a step master achievement by running around in a circle for a minute. Since I realized I was about a thousand steps from getting it. After that, I ended up wrapping up my stream. Nine, eight, seven, six... Five, four, three, two, one, fifty K. Achievement unlocked, Stepmaster. Day 47 is the day that I decided I would not complete the full 100 days and make it to only 50 instead, as I felt I was just simply stretching the game to its limits by building base after base and it wouldn't be fun to watch. I found the crossbow, as well as the third missionary blueprint page, and the final missionary blueprint page after exploring an additional two underwater caves. I started making a bridge to use up some of the logs I was getting for the don't save the forest achievement, as it gave me an excuse, well, to cut down more trees. During day 48, I finished the bridge and was making platforms to use up all the logs I was cutting down. I ended up dropping a tree onto the bridge, which crushed it and crushed my soul. On day 49, I was preparing to rescue Timmy. I got Don't Save the Forest achievement by simply cutting down a few more trees on my way to the cave system. I spent part of the night in the cave just before the sinkhole, but I got impatient and scaled a cliff to get to the final cave leading into the facility. I found another Timmy painting at the entrance to the labs, as well as the final recorder tape which showed an armsy breaking out of containment. Day 50. The final day of this run. And pff, I was more than ready to rescue Timmy. I explored Sahara Labs and got the daily grind achievement by drinking coffee from the cafeteria in the labs. After finding Timmy, I had to go and have a showdown with Megan. After approaching her, she turned into some ugly three-legged three mutant, and I ended up killing her in the cool short boss fight, as the flare gun and flintlock pistol really made easy work of her. After putting her into the obelisk and realizing she couldn't resurrect Timmy, 
I grabbed her golden key card, went up to the top of the mountain, and used the second artifact to shoot down a plane, which allowed me to rescue Timmy, ending our adventure. To those who have stuck around for this whole thing, thank you. This is by far the longest video I have ever made, and the sheer scale of it compared to my normal Dead by Daylight content is massive. I aim to make a proper 100 days video, but on a different game instead, so stay tuned for that. Once again, this is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. I stream, mainly Dead by Daylight, at twitch.tv slash stealthymage, but I will most certainly be streaming a lot of the Sons of the Forest comes out, because I am really looking forward to it, as I have been playing the forest itself since the first couple of weeks of early access. I hope you guys enjoyed my 50 days in the forest video, and until next time guys, stay safe, be kind, and take care.